In order to keep your DHCP database healthy, you'll occasionally need to compact it. What Microsoft's rule of thumb is, is when the database goes above 30 megabytes, what you have to do is compact it. Let's go on and go through the compaction. We need to begin by stopping the DHCP service. Once the service has been stopped, it's not relying on the database, and then we can safely compact it. Let's go to our Start button, Settings, Control Panel. I'm going to scroll down here to Services and open this utility. I find my DHCP server. I highlight it. I click Stop. Yes, I'm sure I want to stop the service. We'll give it a moment to stop the service, and then we can proceed in our compaction. It's stopped. Now we're actually going to do our compaction from a command prompt. So I'm going to click Start, Programs, Command Prompt. Now in my command prompt, I want to make sure that I go to the directory where the DHCP folder is, and I'm going to use the change directory command by doing CD. I'm going to go to the system root, which is WinNT. And then I want to go to the next directory, which is the system32. And then within system32, I want to go to DHCP. Now that I'm in there, I'm going to type my jetpack command. And the proper syntax is to have jetpack. I'm going to specify the database I'm compacting, which is dhcp.mdb. And I need to put a temporary database, because what it will do is it will temporarily store the information in this file. And then when it's done, it will go ahead and restore this to the way it was. I simply hit Enter. It'll take a moment. It's now compacted successfully. Then what I can do is close this out. Make sure my Microsoft DHCP server is highlighted, and I must start it again. It started successfully, and my server is up and running again.